What's up, guys? And you can see I have got a lot of junk there. Look at all that. That's all my printout. I just had just the American League. <laughs> That's the American League. <laughs> How about that? I'm just bringing it home. I'm just getting home. So let's see what's happening here. Me and my wife went out for a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I got you a tracking number. I'll get it to you later. I'll, I'll give it to you on the. Uh, um, ah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I, I've got it to you from earlier. Right, that's everything right there, it looks like. So, oh, he separated. Oh, man. So, one of them is just a chart graph. So, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, they separated each item for me. Like I say, I just got the American League done. Uh, American League with that, uh, with what, uh, ID Jester. National Pastime Next Generation. So is it called NPNG? Is that what it's called? I was thinking they had a plus in there too somewhere. Yeah. So I got all the directions there. I don't mind cutting cards if it's a good game, though. I played, like I say, I played the old Atma, and that didn't thrill me. It just won't for me. I'm sorry. It just won't my thing, though, you know. I didn't, li I didn't like it because... I don't know. I just didn't like it. This is a little bit like Atma, though. You can t look at it and tell. Runnels on first, second, third. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be all right. I really do. I got all American League today is all I got. I called it in earlier, and I asked them, I said, can you have it for me today? I said, they said, how many pages? I said, it's not over a couple hundred. <laughs> So by the time I got there, they'd had it done. Oh, yeah. Uh, Houston, that's Verlander. Uh, Kansas City. There's the Angels. And that was the Angels. That was halfway of the, of the American League. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> this Rob brought me my candy. It's coconut haystacks. Oh, I love that stuff. I love that. Oh, you want to cut some for me? How about that? Thank you. She's ready to cut for me. How about that? Can you beat that? Hi, Mrs. Rob, he said. Hello, gentlemen. And if there's any ladies. <laughs> She's in here actually going to cut them for me. So, uh. I'm just going to let you start at Baltimore if you care to. Uh, whatever you need me to do. All right. Well, all of those are going to have to get cut. That's just half the American League right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, she, hey, I know her well enough to know she won't stop until she's back done with that. So, there's the other half of the American League. Let's see if we find New York. All right, I hate to ask you a dumb question, but am I cutting on these lines? You're going to cut... Or do you want me to cut outside the line and just use the line as a guide? Um, let me see. Let me show you right here. You got to cut right, like, let's see, 2018. All right. I want to see 2018 Baltimore. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. Like, right on the, 20, on the dotted line. So, 2018 Baltimore will go to the bottom card. Yeah. Right. I know that. Uh huh, and then you'll cut just across above 2018 Baltimore on the other one. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> let's see what uh Giancarlo Stanton is. That's Aaron Hicks. <clears throat> let's see what Stanton's got. There's David Robertson, the Philly, the new Philly, as close to the line as you can. Strat said, Got it, got it. She said, Got it. Giancarlo Stanton. I don't know what number is the home run, but I heard and I heard in this set JD Martinez. I think he'd be in the Boston set right there. Is the uh, 
is the bomb hitter. Is what I've heard. Then next generation is hit and run, bunt, sacrifice, and injury. I'm going to play with all that too. Of course she has it. It's Mrs. Rob. Yeah. Are we going to show Mrs. Rob on, on camera tonight? No. No? All right. Mrs. Rob doesn't look good. Mrs. Rob, <laughs> Mrs. Rob doesn't feel good. It doesn't look good, she said tonight. We're going to do it one night when she wins a race. Oh, man. Is she ready to win, guys? I'm telling you. We are ready. We are ready for that. One of these days. Yeah, one of these days. I'm yeah. done, Bob. <laughs> oh, she cut three cards. I said, I'm done, Rob. I didn't even cut three oh, cards. Oh, she I didn't cut three out. If you get tired of doing it, I'm serious. No, you don't want to do it. All I'm doing is cutting my Red Sox out. Then I'll cut the Orioles out. Have a four game series in Baltimore, and then I'll find the Yankees and I'll have a four game series. I'm going to do everything other than the uh, interleague interleague games, and then I'll wait and do all my interleague games at the end. But I'm going to try to do all 162 of Boston from last year. So I'll wear my Boston hat every game when I'm watching them. Um, yeah. Uh, Beautiful weather down here today, guys. I hope everybody up in the Northeast is having as good a weather as we are because. Uh, See? <laughs> I think everybody's going to pick on the red uh, on the Orioles this year. I really do. I mean, I look at that roster and I'm like, oh, my Lord. You know, they lost Jonathan Scope. They lost Adam Jones. They lost uh, Machado. Yes, I do, Robbie. I like the fact that you're doing videos, and uh, you got to show yourself when you're doing. Don't be shy in front of the camera. Yep, definitely. Show us, show us you, and then say, "Okay, now we're going to what we're going to do." But yeah, oh man, your your camera angle was perfect. And um, how many how many uh, have you done so far? Just that one. Showing you will come. Yeah, but I, I, I'm i like this. Uh, okay, that's cool. I'm like this about it. You know, a lot of people make a big deal about cutting out the cards. I don't mind that too much. As long as they give me good stock, and I got 120 right here. So, I mean, this is some good, good card stock. Uh, um, Office Depot takes good care of me, and I get them, I get them for about 40-some cents a page. So, you can't beat that. And then, uh, you can't. Uh, can't be when your wife wants to help you cut them out too. Yeah, I can't beat that when she says, "Yeah, I'll help you out." And um, and it says right here, "What's up, Sports Time Machine?" Yeah, yeah, I use one ten. Yeah, I, I do too, and um, I, I just don't use the gloss. This is uh, NPNG. NPNG base uh, National Pastime Next Generation Baseball, and I got it. Uh, I got it from ID Jester. Um, he uh, told me a website that I could go get it, and you can go grab it for free. Grab it for free, and then go get it. Pay, and then go get it. Uh, ran off, and then your American League is gonna fill this whole box up. <laughs> but. Uh, my advice, my advice to do this. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I, you know what, Robbie? I don't know how you switch them around either. I don't know. I, you got to talk to Ron about that one. I don't know. And you like baseball better than my golf. That's cool. Um, this one right here, I think they said to me that if you played at least two innings, Anytime last year, you're in these rosters right here. This is only half the American League. She's got the other half of the American League right there. My wife does. So she's over there cutting for me right now. And, um, and then I think it give you a few extra cards. I don't know if it does or not. I may be wrong. But, uh, yeah. Um so that's that's kind of why I wanted it. So expanded rosters, all that type stuff. 
double switches, just just everything involved. So I'm going to replay a whole. Al, okay. Okay, Robbie, you see that? Al, I guess he's talking about Al Red Sox. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I got all of the uh, rules, all of the charts, all of the graphs printed out. Some of it just on 20, 24 pound regular paper, most of it on 110 stock. And then um, I, all I say is if you're going to get it done, do it. Do it on um, do it online, and then I did it, and then they gave me twenty some percent off, twenty or twenty five percent off, because I sent it in to them. As soon as I sent it in to them, I called them. I said, "Look, can, you know, I, it shows on here. You can have it ready for me the twelfth tomorrow, six p.m. Can you have it today by seven p.m.?" And they said, "No problem." I got an email at five o'clock, and it was ready. So. Um, and you can go, you can use your debit card, credit card, or PayPal. So it's just whatever way you like to do it. So it, it was ultra, it was ultra cool. Just as long as you got it on your, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, jump drive, jump drive, get it on your jump drive in your computer. And I actually did it myself, believe it or not. I can't believe I didn't screw up royally, but, uh, Anybody got an American League team they like? Anybody? Video I did last night was a second call, take because I accidentally clicked PC replay. Hey, you know what? You're going to have it. I, I've I had some um, times that I've um, I've looked back and I was like, okay, I wish I could get rid of that one. But I'm like, yes, people won't watch it. People won't watch it if it's uh, – so who was that was listening to or watching last night? Didn't have any volume. Didn't have any audio on it. Somebody was it ID Jester. I believe it was ID. He forgot to turn the, the, his volume on for a little while. I sat there and watched it a little bit, and then all of a sudden I saw that uh, it came through and all. Rangers fan. Who's a Rangers fan? Uh, Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. Oh, man. And they're in alphabetical order, too. How about that? Oh, crud. Am I supposed to be keeping them in alphabetical order? Oh, not at all. Not at all. I'm not worried about that. Adrian Beltre, his final year. Yeah. Adrian Beltre. I got that. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Matt Bush. Shen Tzu Chu. Shen Tzu Chu. Bartolo Colon. The line of the shields. Jake Dinkman, Flaky Jake. If you wanted to keep her busy, though, oh, that'll put them in half the court. No, uh, she knows. She knows I'll do that. She knows I don't mind that. Cole Hamels, ex Philly. She's already doing it. She's already. Oh, she's already putting them in order. Are you kidding? As soon as I mentioned it, she's already putting them in order. Yeah. Matt Moore. Rognad Odoa. He's the one who liked to fight. Yeah. That's a lot of pages for each team. It's like five pages at least. So five times nine is what, 45, almost 45 players? Jerickson, Jerickson profile. Yeah. And then there's the, the Blue Jays. Yeah. So, yeah. It, uh, I'll work on those in just a moment myself. But, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cool. We're going to see if it is. Uh, and then once I get these up and ready, like I say, I'll start I'll start my Red Sox season with all their American League games, and then I'll eventually go get to National League teams. But I just went and got the American League teams today. So uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. But, yeah, it makes it clear, clear, clear that if you go out and um, go out and try to make cash off of this, make money off of it, they can come get you. So I'm not looking to. I wouldn't I wouldn't look to do that. But, uh, yeah, I've got all sorts of charts and stuff. Injury card. Um, injury. 
Oh, she's done. She said, No, she's not done. Oh, she's done putting them in alphabetical order. Oh, okay. Done, put, done putting one team in alphabetical order. Okay. <laughs> not even one team. Oh, not even one whole team yet. So, hey, you know what? I'm in no rush at all. She knows I'm not. I'll get my Red Sox cut out, get the Orioles cut out. They'll be the first two teams on the American League side right there. And then I can have them play Toronto and all my other American League East teams. And I'll go from there. I just got to read my instructions and all that type of stuff. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, don't forget 8.30 tonight, um, um, Monday Night Tights with um, AFR, Steve Tower. Um, He's he's gonna uh, he's gonna have his wrestling going on tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna probably get my wrestling going again, uh, probably midweek. Um, I've my tag team champions have held the belts now for three weeks, so we're gonna we'll probably let them have a week off. We're gonna have a, a world heavyweight championship match. I think it's Harley Race and. Jerry Lawler. So, um, face to the mat, face to the mat. But uh, have you ever? Yeah, I'm, I'll be doing that later in the week. I'll be doing it sometime or another. Um, I'm gonna keep my uh, hockey going if I can. I'm getting really in the mood for watching some hockey playoffs. But as soon as you get in the mood for hockey playoffs, maybe you know. Opening day of baseball season's coming up, so I am um, definitely going to get the uh, the baseball package on on my Comcast so I can watch all my games. I can catch all my Phillies games and all my Red Sox games. So I can't wait for that. I'm really, really ready. I'm stoked for that. Uh, I'm I'm gonna give my predictions probably next week, week after, something like that. Uh, if you look back at some of my football. <clears throat> football picks, I did pretty good. I did rather well with some of my football picks. Uh, baseball picks, uh, they're harder to do because you don't know about injuries and you don't know how pitchers are going to come out. One pitcher can be a you know lifesaver one year and the next year, you know, stink to join up. That's right. But uh, your Rangers are going to make it interesting out west. I don't know. I don't know if they've got enough for the Angels or not. The Angels, but hey, the Angels just, they don't ever pick up any pitching. That's their problem. You know, people are always talking about Trout, but he's pulling that dead weight of pool holes around with him too. So that hurts them. So, uh, National League East, you probably ask five people and you'll get four different answers. It's crazy. I mean, the Mets, they're legit. The Braves, they're legit. The Nationals, they're legit. And then the Phillies, they're legit. Then the Marlins are going to be the, the stomping boy this year. They may not win 50 games this year. They're going to really, really take a ass whipping this year, I think, because the East, every team in the East is capable of winning 85 games. But which one will, I don't know. I think it's going to come down to the pitch and the Nationals. Braves and the Phillies hitting. I think I, that's what I think, but I'm not discounting the Mets, man. I've been watching a lot of the Mets in the preseason. And I'll tell you one thing: they th their bats have been alive. So, and they've got good pitching too. I mean, you know, you you know, you overlook that team because you're like, uh, you know, but they've got good young talent, so they're they're going to be there. And uh, you know, the the Phillies are an older team. You know, they've got a lot of veterans on their team that's going to have to really, you know, McCutcheon, uh, you know, Harper's not an older player, but, I mean, he's going to obviously pull his weight. And then um, the shortstop he got from the Brewers, well, wherever he came from, was it Seattle, wherever, Segura, he's going to have to pull his weight this year. So we'll see what happens there. And Real Muto, he's, he's a good – he's a real good player. So. They they they're pretty well stacked at offensive end. You know they're gonna have to score six a game to win because they just don't have any pitching. But uh, we'll see what happens there. But 
And obviously the East is down to the Yankees and Red Sox again. One of those two teams is going to win it. Toronto's not going to win it. Tampa's not going to win it. And uh, who's the other team? I don't even <laughs> – I can't keep up with it. Tampa, Toronto, Yankees, Red Sox. Who's the other team? I ought to know. Probably right down the street. Mm. I can't keep up with it. Baltimore. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why you forget them. <laughs> Easily forgotten. 40 win team this year. The doormats of the American League. <clears throat> they, they won't win as many as the Rays win this year. They won't. They, they're going to get their butts kicked every day. So I'm, I'm going to definitely try to make a trip to Baltimore this year. I've never been to never been to uh, uh, this park. Uh, yards, Camden Yards. But, oh, yeah, I want to definitely make a trip up there. That should be interesting. But I, I no hate for them. I'll say that much because I used to go up there a lot in the early 90s. And uh, – when Ripken was up there, hell, his dad was a coach, I think. And uh, they, were all, they always treated you nice, man, when you go up to that stadium. Uh, the one stadium me and my wife want to go to this year is? Um, Pittsburgh. PNC Park, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. We want to we go there. We have seen it on TV hundreds of times. It's clean. It's neat. From what, for everything we see, the, the fans are so great that if you go in there with a Phillies or Red Sox or whatever, I actually got a, a Pittsburgh jacket as well. Um, they they won't ride you. So um, I'm looking I'm looking forward to that. I really am. I want I want to make that trip. If we don't do a lot of other trips, but uh, I kind of wish a Vegas had a team. You know, Vegas is getting their. Uh, Vegas has got their hockey team, and that would be pretty cool, too, to go to Vegas and do whatever you want to do in Vegas. And then, okay, at night, okay, uh, wife of man, would you like to go to a hockey game? Sure. Sure. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. How about that? She's been to wrestling with me. She's went to baseball games with me. Uh, and yeah, and then they're getting the Raiders. I don't know how much that's to brag about, but they're getting them. Two two more years, so now, yeah, night's tickets off. Uh, Strat, you have yourself a good one. Have a good one. I'm going to do a couple of test runs with the racetracks, and I'm going to take all the fives and four gas pedals out, and we're going to see if, if, if I can do a test run with about 20, 25 drivers. Have a good one, Strat. Um, but, yeah, anybody that's involved in our racing league – uh, you're more than welcome. I'm going to have a couple of live feeds this week, or maybe one this week, one next week, mid-level drivers, okay? And we're going to see exactly how well they can run with each other. I'm going to take the dual part out. I'm going to have one and two top group, three and four middle group, five and six bottom group, and test it. See what happens. I'm even going to do – give chips to the bottom group so you can pit if five or oh, i'll do something like it you know it's only going to be one for the bottom group because one part's going to be tv group but um, i think i'm going to do that i may do five as tv six bottom group something like that and we'll see what happens but uh, i'll make the rules good and clear before i start and let you guys kind of watch it and see if you like it. Now, you may not like the way we do things. I've had a couple of people tell me, you should keep the duels. You should keep the duels in there. So I may I may well do it. We'll see. But I do I do like the chances that if, uh, you might make it to where everyone pits. Well, I don't I don't think I want to do that. Now, I'll tell you why. I want to leave the roll of the dice still up up in the air. So, what you know, I may make I may not make it where two levels end up getting pit, pits at one time or whatever. But I don't know. We'll see what happens there. It's going to be interesting because um, 
I think I think it's going to be pretty cool <clears throat> to see what happens uh, if one level ends up doing well and then the other level does well and then you got five laps to go. Is it going to be just a bum rush to the front? You know, just Katie bar the door. It may end up being that way. Yeah, the good thing about one pit of race would be, though, if you are in the front already, you're not as much in need of a chip as you are in the back and the middle groups. But we'll see. Really what I want to see is how much movement there is. So I'm definitely going to write down the starting lineup and then the finishing lineup two different times. And if one race, six guys from a back group come up and, you know, fight for the lead or the win – then I know something's going right. Something's going right. Because if it happens some, that's all I want. I don't want it to happen to every race. I don't want it to where every time you start 25th, you're going to, you know, you're going to be up front. But, you know, it's not anyway going to happen that way because everybody's going to have three gas pedals. That's what, that's, you know, that's a stickler right there. Everybody's going to have three gas pedals. And it's not going to make it easy for anybody. Just avoiding wrecks, avoiding wrecks. That's what. That's the thing. We'll see what happens with that, but um, I'm definitely going. I'm definitely going to try to see if I can learn how to do this one. Um, anybody that's just joining us, MPNG um, ra um, racing, MPNG racing, no baseball. Um, it's what I got today. National Pastime Next Generation Plus is what it's called. And uh, ID Jester was telling me about the website, and I ended up finding the website. And then whoever put it on there posted it up and said free. Now, you know, obviously, if they, if they broke a rule and somebody wanted money or whatever for it, uh, you know, I'm not held liable because they did make a website open to the public. But, uh, I'm not, you know, I'll just tell you where you can get it. And that's where you can go. You can go to National Pastime Next Generation Plus. Google all five of those words. It'll pop right up for you. And then it'll give you all the PDFs you want. And by the time you finish downloading everything, then you're like, okay, now where am I going to get all this printed? Because it's only about 200 sheets for rules in the American League or rules in the National League if you want to start there. That's a cool thing. You can get what you want to start. And um, and then from there, I can go from there myself. Um, yeah, 830. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be switching over. We're gonna, I'm going to watch some of uh, Steve Towers' run tonight with his uh, wrestling. Um, I'm going, like I say, I'm going to get this baseball up and running. I want to by tomorrow. I'd like to have a game or two going on. If the weather's nice, I'm going to try to do a couple items. I got some stuff I need to do, but um, we got some crap weather coming by the weekend. So every weekend, it's got to rain, right? Um, if, you've got a, if you've got a team that you'd like to see, if you're a baseball fan and you got an American League team you'd like to see, let me know and I'll, I'll show them to you. There's Twins. Anybody a Twins fan? Uh, oh, is Joe Mauer on there? Yeah, Joe Mauer's on there. <laughs> How about that? I guess it's his last card. Is Mauer. Uh, uh, Logan Morrison. He went to the Twins. I didn't realize that. Um, Red, um, Yankees. Excuse me. She's got my Red Sox, so I want to see them so, so bad in the worst way, you know. Oakland, uh, but uh, yeah, when I do a game, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it off of actual. I'm gonna do it off of actual 2018. Um, any interleague games, I'll hold them back till later in the season. But uh, I'm hoping it's gonna be pretty. To win 105, 108 games is gonna be tough, though. I don't. Th I'm not expecting that. Huh? If they win ninety five to hundred, I'll be I'll be happy. They may not do that. Um, is um, what else was I going to say? If any, like I say, 
anybody, if you're not watching this live or if you are watching it live and you're interested in having a car in our, our red, white, and blue series, uh, cost is nothing. Um, it takes about five to ten minutes for us to help explain what you need, what's up, Ken. Um, it, and uh, we've got cars. I've actually got some cars right here. Let's see if I can show them. Uh oh, excuse me. Excuse you. Excuse me. Let's see what happens here. I got pictures of some cars today. And let's see if I can show them, guys. But uh, the maker of play.com, he, uh, Keith Avalon, he, uh, He's in on on this with us. And here's your 2018 Baltimore Orioles. Here's my 2018 Baltimore Orioles. Look at that. Look at that stack of Orioles, folks. Good Lord. I met I messed up Matt Barnes's card a little bit, but it's not bad. All right. I think we'll be all right. It's fine. All right. Um she's over there cutting away. Um Let's see, but I want I want to see if I can find the the, uh, the pictures I had. Oh, let's see. No, that was from last night. No, I got them around here somewhere. And uh, so, anybody interested in having a uh, race car to run in our series? Just simply let us know you you want one, and we'll hook you up. We will do it. Um, me finding what I need here is like finding a mm. needle in a haystack. Needle needle in a haystack. Yeah. Let's see. I don't see it right now, but uh, we've got cars. I know I got Ken's card. I know I got Robbie's card. Um, I know I've got, uh, well, we've got so many cars. It's crazy. I really do. Here we go. Here we go. Keith. David Demos, Ken Castro. Ken, have you seen your car yet? Let's see if we can show it to you. Uh, I may have to flip that light off. Let's see. Let me turn the light out. Uh, maybe might be able to get it right here. Ken's got number 92 right there. I don't know if you can see it or not there. Robbie, Ken Castro, Keith right, Avalon, David, David Demos. I don't know. I can or not. I got to I got to get I got to get, uh, I got to get OG to email them to them. David Demos, yellow and green with 17. Yellow's on the roof. Green is on the hood and in the trunk. Ken Castro, blue on the roof. Green on the hood and the trunk. And 92 green in green. Yeah. Oops. That's all right. I'll pick that up. Oh, I got it. So we got 14 right here printed out already. A uh, couple of 17s. And I think it's the only number we have repeated. It is. Glenn P has 17. And demos. So uh, <coughs> it's got all the fast pit and everything on here. Keith. Um, uh, the maker red, white, and blue. Uh, <laughs> that's a lot of Orioles and they still stink. We'll see. Cause I'm, I'm, I think that's going to be my opening day game. 
I'll 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 match up whoever they played early in the year, or whatever last year. If it is the Orioles, it might not be. But I was thinking they started out with the Orioles pretty quick, pretty early. There's Machado. Gone. Uh, what? Gone. Yeah, he's gone. Machado's gone. But uh, his card's still in there. It doesn't matter though, like you say. They're still going to stink up the joint. I think they will anyway. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to uh, – this is all pretty much a dice game. I think I forgot to get extra dice too. I know you yeah. I, I don't have extra dice. I don't – see, I'm new to this stuff, so I don't have all of the, like, the dice kits and all that kind of stuff. So I got to go to Walmart and go spend a little money on dice. Um, I saw something online. It said something about, do you trust metal dice? Is it, did anybody ever see that on YouTube? Do you trust metal dice? Then, on top of that, do you trust them? Because I don't know nothing about them. No, I'm serious. Do you trust metal dice? Because uh, it might be the weight scale or something. I don't know. I do not know. But I, I just thought that was weird. Because it said something about watching metal dice. Orioles played Minnesota on opening day last year. Oh, okay. All right. I'll find who Boston played. And like I say, I'll catch up their, uh, their interleague play. I'm not too worried about that. I'll get that. I got a few empty cards, too. Yeah. So if we ever, if we ever do get froggy and make a league of our own again, we'll have to have some pitchers and hitters, and we'll go from there. Wouldn't that be some stuff? Yeah. Most Boston opened at Tampa. Uh oh. On the road, on the road. Yep. Um. <laughs> he already did enough for me giving me the uh giving me the PDF. I can't ask for anything more than that. He really did well. Um if anybody that's watched my last um uh, Dustin Pedroia. Dustin Pedroia. Ah, oh, he didn't play much. Um, anybody that watched my last wrestling feed, I want to give a big shout out to Bleacher Bums Gaming Anthony. He PDF me about fifty, about about fifty good rest, fifty original wrestlers. And um, I said, all right, I got to get mine too. I got, I've got to get my own stock of dice and everything. Um, I don't have a I don't have a um, a twenty side. I don't have a ten side. I don't have any of that. So I got I got to get all that stuff. So I don't have any of that in stock. Um, with what I've been getting in uh, Play dot com, everything is just two two sixes. So that's all I need, pretty much, or three sixes sometimes. And that's pretty much what I what I do there. Um, but uh, it seems like you got a few baseball fans in here tonight. So I'll tell you what let's do American league. Uh, let's go national league, national league East right now, national league East. You had your $20 bill. You got to put it down in Vegas. You got to say, okay, this team is going to win the East. Who is it? Who is it folks? Uh, is it Washington? Sale versus Archer. Yeah, last year was Archer. Now, Archer, um, Archer, where's he at now? Where the hell did Archer go? Uh, he went somewhere else. Ian Kinsler's nickname is Bootsy. Bootsy, yeah. <laughs> uh, Pittsburgh is not in the East. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's where he went to. I'm sorry. Being a smart ass. Yeah, that's right. Because I heard him say something about Pittsburgh's going to give – Everybody, I mean, everybody in the Central is going to give everybody a run for their money. So we got one says the Nationals. Anybody see the Mets winning that division? Anybody see the Braves winning that division? Anybody see the Marlins winning that division? Anybody see the Phillies winning that division? Phillies. Phillies. We got Pittsburgh. We got the Braves. I mean, not Pittsburgh. I mean, we got the Nationals and we got the Braves. Put a gun to my head right now. I'm gonna say the Nats just because they got all that pitching, and 
sometimes losing somebody like like a Harper helps you. It does nothing but help you because, I mean, the guy hit only 240 last year. Yay, okay, you hit 30-some home runs, great. But let's say they get somebody out there that hits 280, 85, and plays a better defense for them this year. They're going to be a better team. National League Central, get the Cubs, get the Brewers. Yeah, uh, that's what I just said. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Most potential on that team was Harper. But, okay, you got the Brewers, you got the Cubs. Uh, the, 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 the. Oh, okay, Robbie likes the Phillies in the East. Now in the Central, who you like? Phillies, I mean, uh, Saint, let's see, you got St. Louis, you got the Brewers, you got the Cubs, who the hell else is, St. Louis, Chicago, Milwaukee, who the hell else, damn. St. Louis, Chicago, Milwaukee. When you forget them, that's when you know you're in trouble. Because that's probably – oh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That's the team I'm going with right there, Cincinnati. I'm going with Cincinnati because I think they help their roster as much as any team in all of baseball. Mm -hmm. I don't trust Pittsburgh's. I don't trust Pittsburgh's lineup. The Cubs, I don't know. I, they just, you never know what you're going to get with the Cubs. The Brewers, the Brewers, right now, if I was going to take second place, I'd take the Brewers. St. Louis, yeah, they got Goldschmidt, but. Oh, uh, no, no, five guys. Five guys. You ever heard of five guys? <laughs> Well, you, five guys, burgers, and fries. Five guys, burgers, and fries. $9 burger. Ain't worth it. Yeah, yeah. That's the first time I ever went there. Not as good as Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake's butter. We got those down here, too. That's a lot better. Um, five guys load you with fries. Oh, yeah, they do, man. Me and the wife got one medium, right? And I mean, it was like a bat, a cup full, and then the bag was loaded. It was all we could, yeah. And I like more burger than I do fries. Fries, all that extra potato feel, fills you up too much. That's so. We got. Let's see. St. Louis. I'm going. I'm going with. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I was one too greasy. <coughs> I was pretty good. Uh, Demos is going with St. Louis. I'm going with Cincinnati. Robbie, Central. Which way are you going, bud? And then we'll we'll do the last national leagues. Brewers. Oh, okay. Everybody's going with somebody different. That's awesome. Cubs. Everybody went with somebody different. National League West. And then we'll cut out of here and we'll go watch wrestling if you want to. You got uh, Colorado. You got Arizona. You got uh, – I'm with you, Ken. I'm with you. I think nobody thinks Colorado's got anything. Colorado picked up the best free agent they could in keeping old Arenado. I think they're the best team. I think they're the best team out there. Um the Dodgers got rid of a lot. They got rid of their outfield. Yeah, I mean, Puig or whatever. We'll see what he does in Cincinnati if he does, if he ends up making a mess out there. But I'm with you. I like Colorado. I like Colorado. I don't know why I do. Um, San Diego, can they do something? With Machado, Kinsler, I don't know. Let's we'll see what they do. The Giants. I didn't see where they made made any moves. The Marlins, I mean, the the Snakes, the uh, Diamondbacks, they already were a pretty good team. Dodgers, 
Dodgers probably have as much talent as anybody in baseball, but that doesn't talent talent doesn't win you, win you games. I think Cubs have as much talent as anybody in baseball, but I think sometimes they get held back. Sometimes I like Colorado. I'm with you. I like Colorado on that. I'm cutting off my uh, feed right now. Uh, anybody wants to head over to AFR and uh, we'll see if the committee is coming back for those guys. Uh, catch me tomorrow evening. We're going to see what the uh, – oh, yeah, the Cubs have the genius yeah, with the glasses. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Yep, I'm going to AFR. You folks have a great evening. Catch me for Red Sox baseball tomorrow evening. Have a good one.